Our RFID journey here at Myer started in September last year. The reason that I chose Myer Melbourne City was that we had a significant shrinkage problem in that particular store. Since introducing the technology into the Melbourne City store, we've seen a significant reduction in shrinkage, as well as some of the traditional benefits that you would expect from the implementation of RFID technology, including 100% inventory accuracy and the ability for us to pick all of our orders that we receive via our Omnichannel because our inventory is 100% accurate every single day. As part of our proof of concept, we've engaged a couple of important business partners, including Checkpoint Systems Australia and Sato. They've been fantastic in providing us with thought leadership in regards to our RFID proof of concepts. One final benefit that we've been able to realise straight away is the reduction in the amount of labour that we spend on stock taking. The ability to be able to instantly capture our inventory accurately using the technology that we have available has significantly reduced the costs of stock taking within Maya. When we receive a delivery, it will come in through our loading dock. The merchandise will be encoded down there and then brought up into our reserve where we will move it digitally from our receiving location into our reserve location. Once an item is about to be purchased, a staff member will walk in to the reserve, select the item and retire the merchandise ready for the sale. Before the implementation of RFID, we would have four people over about three hours that would do a traditional stock take. In addition to this, to try and remedy some of our shrinkage issues, we would also do weekly manual stock counts. This would probably take anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours, depending on our inventory at the time. The bigger picture for our RFID process is that we partner with other brands and suppliers to have products tagged at source and save resources within stores. So as part of the rollout for international apparel for Maya, we've had to introduce a new swing tag to attach to the garment along with the RFID label. So this is attached to the garment to track our RFID inventory for the merchandise we are working towards wanting to have the suppliers tag the RFID already attached to the garment. In terms of the cost savings, for this department it takes one person half an hour to complete a cycle count, whereas with our previous process it took eight people three hours to complete a stock take. Standing up a basic RFID proof of concept is relatively low cost. And once you prove the business benefits from your proof of concept, you'll be able to reinvest those savings into further proof of concepts. And your RFID journey will be well on its way. I encourage all retailers and brand owners to look at what improvements their business can benefit from utilising RFID technology.